Welcome back once again to Arca Kenny Homestead. Now today's episode is going to be jam-packed full of useful information for you. You see our budget tunnels behind us? We talked about them in an episode earlier on this year. Well today we're converting them into polycarbonate tunnels on a budget. We're going to go through all the parts that you need to do it and how exactly you can do this in such a way that they'll be able to take the worst that winter can throw at it. So stay tuned. So why would you want to convert your budget tunnel to polycarbonate instead? Well there's a couple of reasons for that. If you look in here, look how dark it is. Now the sun is shining outside but yet in here it's really really dark. And that's because of the green woven mesh that's in these vinyl covers. Now don't get me wrong, on a sunny day in the heat of summertime it can be useful but most of the time it's not allowing the maximum amount of light into your plants, restricting their growth. Now there's a couple of things that you need to know before you consider doing this. Not every budget tunnel can be converted to polycarbonate. You have to make sure that the frame is good enough first. You need a minimum of a 25 millimeter thick frame that has good cross support the whole way along to be able to take the weight of the polycarbonate sheeting and restrict any movement. Another issue with these vinyl covers that's on these tunnels if we have a look at our tunnel beside us, which has been in place since January 2021, it's roughly 18 months, you can see that the cover is completely worn out, it's stretched, it's torn, it's got ropes holding it down. Now don't get me wrong, it has taken the storms well, but its lifespan is very, very short. The polycarbonate sheeting should last you a minimum of 5 to 10 years once it's put on a sound, attached, anchored structure. So to go through the parts that we're going to need for this, first of all you need timber. Now what I'm using is timber that we recovered from pallets and we're going to have to use a couple of those to make up the end frames and the door frames. The next thing, and this is very important, is the washers. Because this is what is going to hold the sheeting in place and you can't put too much pressure on one small area. The pressure needs to be spread over a larger area. So we get washers like these and little foam inserts that go into them and what that does is that compresses in the foam and increases the surface area that the washer is holding the sheet on with. Behind me you see the polycarbonate sheeting which is 2.1 meters tall by 6 meters long. Then finally tech screws, two different types of tech screws. Okay, so at this point in the proceedings, you have both frames made for either end. One with a large opening for a door, and another at the other end with a smaller opening for a window. Now both of these ends are quite strong and sturdy. The next considerations that you need to make before you go ahead and fit the polycarbonate sheeting is for two things. One, the center part here, which as you can see, is pretty flimsy, and if a wind is hitting this dead on the side, it can pull on it quite severely and that reciprocating movement is eventually going to snap the tunnel. So even though we have both end frames now in place, watch this. Not so good. There's a lot of that lateral movement there. So, how you combat the lateral movement 
is with a brace on either end of your newly made frames going from here to here. So there is basically all of the main supports and modifications done to the frame at this stage. The next step now is to fit the polycarbonate sheeting. Let's talk about costs and where we got the supplies for making this project. Well the initial budget tunnel we bought off eBay, it was 4 meters long by 3 meters wide at a cost of 130 euros because we bought it out of season at the end of last winter. The polycarbonate sheeting we got from mygreenhouse.ie and we bought our ready made poly tunnel from them. They seem to have the cheapest prices here in Ireland that we could find. Three sheets of polycarbonate material were used with each sheet being 6 meters long by 2 meters wide and each sheet costing 125 euros. The timber that we got for the frames and for the supports all around, well they cost nothing because they're all free from pallets. But if you want to source the timber yourself or buy brand new timber, we used approximately 40 meters of it and you'll have to price that locally at whatever your local prices are. Other than that then, the accessories, screws, the wide washers, the foam rings to secure the sheeting on and all the other little bits and bobs like hinges and latches, well that all came to about 60 euros. So all in all, the overall cost of this tunnel is just a shade under 600 euros. When comparing that to the ready-made polycarbonate tunnel, which cost 800 euros, it's now working out at 200 quid cheaper. So that's it for this video. I hope it's inspired you to get your DIY hat on and get busy on your own project at home. I'd also like to say a big thanks to all our subscribers out there who watch our videos and have joined the channel. And if you haven't joined the channel yet, then please do hit that subscribe button and give the video an old thumbs up on your way out. Do take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you in the next one.